the rest of the story. One bright spring morning, Alex went for a stroll in the park. Alex was a strapping fellow, 25, 6 feet 2, 210 pounds. Had a large, handsome face with finely etched features. His hair was raven black and his eyes were dark and quizzical. Alex was a bank teller by profession. Also a volunteer fireman. And today, as so often before, he would walk down to the Dewey Meadow just beneath Murray Hill. His friends, other young businessmen, surely would be there, reveling in the fragrances and the fair breezes of springtime. But this day of relaxation and recreation was to be different from all of the rest. Alex called out to his friends to gather round. He had an idea. The others hooted good-naturedly at the suggestion... But to humor Alex, they went along. What Alex wanted to do was to play baseball. The men had no baseball gear with them. But wait, somebody had a ball that would do, and another had a stick that might serve as a bat, and next Alex plotted out a 90-foot diamond, carefully marking the four bases, and teams were chosen, and the men played baseball. But now, but now the rest of the story. From that game that day, it was evident that these young men who had never played baseball together before were fine baseball players. Their natural skill, obvious compatibility, made it such a pleasurable experience that the men were encouraged to play together, often. At some point, somebody asked, what do we call ourselves? Well, Alex, who had belonged to a volunteer fire department known as the Knickerbocker Engine Company, voted for the Knickerbockers. And thus was born the historic Knickerbocker Baseball Club of New York City at the casual suggestion of a young bank teller named Alex Cartwright. The following July, the Corinthian-columned Union Bank where Alex had worked burned to the ground. So Alex went into the book-selling business, but he never stopped playing baseball all through the summer and through the summers to come. It was Alex who plotted the diamond on the day that I have told you about. It was Alex who placed the bases and inspired the players as no one had ever done before. For when Alexander Cartwright improvised the rules and designed the baseball playing field for his friends and prescribed the distances between the bases on that sunny spring morning of 1845. He was venturing into territory entirely uncharted in the history of sports. Not only were the Knicks the first baseball club to play anywhere, but on that fragrant spring morning, 146 years ago, they played the first ever game of baseball. That's right. What you and I have just relived together was the actual, purposeful, intentional invention of baseball. Oh, I know. You heard that somebody named Abner Doubleday was responsible for that. Not so. Not so. Now you know the rest of the story.